Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a Q&A and we're going to answer your questions from the last video. And we have a special guest for this. Hi guys, um, I'm Shum's sister, if you didn't know. Um, I also have a channel on YouTube, um, I go by Core Beauty. So, the way this video is going to work is we're going to pick the questions, I'm going to answer them, and then, why are you here? I'm just here to add, like, you know, <laughs> bad details that he may omit the truth, you know, just slanderous things, kind of like, you know, the sisterly duties that I have, you know. Repeat the question. <sighs> what are your interests and hobbies outside of school and medicine? So, uh, outside of school and medicine, so I just do random things like this YouTube channel. I do like video games, so that's one hobby, and basketball is another. You think of any? That's pretty much it. That's it. You <laughs> does not do much. I don't do much, I just loaf around. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Can you repeat that question? Sorry. You're ridiculous. Uh, since I'm in medical school now, obviously a doctor. Um, hopefully a good YouTube channel. Where do you see me in 10 years? Mm, probably in Washington, near the border, <laughs> buying duty-free milk. Probably, I'm cheap. How do you know which friends will share your notes? What if they don't want to share notes with you? How do you ask them? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so the first thing, how do you ask them? Um, you just want to be like, bro, can I get your notes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, if they say no, you just get up and walk away and find another seat. Find another friend. And you never look back. Find someone like me or Shaman. We'll give you guys our notes. So you want to repeat that then so I can do it? This is a good question. Um, are all of your siblings aspiring to become doctors? As an Indian myself, I must ask, was this your parents' dream or your own initially? My parents want me to become a doctor, but I honestly don't have a passion for anything medical at all. We didn't really have a preppy childhood or we weren't groomed a certain way. We kind of just did our own thing. Like in elementary school, we weren't really pressured to be anything or get fantastic grades. We weren't given like forced to be in music lessons or put in like tutoring classes or anything. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just did whatever when we were younger. Is there anything you would do differently if you could go back to your first couple of years in college? I guess the one thing I would do is pick a different college because a lot of people have the mentality that they have to pick the most prestigious college that they get into and that's actually probably not a good idea. You want to find a college that best matches who you are, and not just the one that's highest ranked on a list. Oh, Meha Kagadri asked, um, what got you motivated to study and do well in school? I'm a more logical kind of guy, so I kind of just think about what options I have, what paths I can take, and what the end result will be. It just ends up that if you take school more seriously, you'll just have more options in life. If you could change one thing about your life or personality, what would that be? I'm actually a really lazy guy. <laughs> you won't ever believe it. No. Now the world knows. I'm a pretty lazy guy. I sleep for like 11 hours a day. This dude, because we went to the same college and we're like one year apart, almost for the past like couple of classes, I start studying like a week before. Mm -hmm. He starts studying like the day before. Like three days before. No, sometimes he studies. I strategically like, wait for the weekend. But sometimes he studies Optimization. like. No, sometimes he studies like two days before, like. Yeah, five. the weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Sure, he studies Saturday, Sunday, and I'll study like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like insane amounts, and he gets better scores than me. And like, I'll give this guy my study notes and my study guide, and then I'll be like, Shaman, do you know this answer? I never answer? use them. That's such a lie. And then I'll be like, so uh, lately I've also been taking such good notes that I'll like read them to him while we're walking to our exam, and those exact It's questions. all about the content. No, but like Not it's, the appearance of the notes. It's so annoying. He gets better grades than me on every exam that we take. So she claimed for years that she was smarter than me. Now do you still claim this after these classes? I think there's something secret going on that we don't know about. He has to make a video on it, guys. There's she's something definitely up. I don't know how he ends up getting better grades than me. While she's not following that. all my tips properly. Sure. Um, you never answered the question. Yeah. Do you still? You yeah, but lazy. I, I know. But my thing was, do you still stand by uh, that you're smarter than me? Yeah. You claimed it for years. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 
She's not admitting it on camera, she's done it off camera. This is a common tactic in YouTube. So everyone wants to know embarrassing Chad's stories about me or him. Oh, that So, one. I'm a klutz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I fall, like, there's not, when there's nothing to fall over. <laughs> but we have one for you, like, we thought of one for you, right? Yeah, we got a good one. This is gonna be embarrassing, but we're gonna do it. But you were, you were little, so it's not that bad. We got video footage filmed by my older brother. Third place, shame on- Yeah! <laughs> Represent BCA! Shame <laughs> Told you. Second place, Nathan Luong. Yeah! I got you. <laughs> Oh, look at that fool. Oh, where'd he go? Were you naturally good at math and science, or are you good at every subject? So the subjects I'd say I'm good at, I'm actually probably best at math, but that's not really what I'm pursuing. I'd say I'm pretty good at science. English, um, how am I at English? You're, you're okay. Who got the higher verbal score? Cars. Oh shit, you did better than me, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's different. Weird English. It is weird. I'm not bad at math either, but... Yeah. She wavers. If she does bad in a math class, it's her worst subject. Yeah. When she gets to A and understands the equation... <laughs> then I say It's my prodigy. favorite subject. I should have done engineering. <laughs> I never have said that in my life. Yeah, she never um, said do you that. Think Don't psych yourself out about, like, your worst subject, because even if it's your worst subject, you should still be able to do pretty well in the class. Because nobody is innately, like, brain dead at math. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, think that like they're just like bad at something because of the social effect. You know what I mean? Like exactly. I remember there were so many like practice questions in the MCAT where they did studies where like women were told that they were bad yeah. at math or like when you identify yourself as a woman or blah blah blah, you do worse. Who are your role models? Role models. So there's not that many fantastic people out in this world as role models because once you become rich and famous. What about me? You become spoiled, what? rotten to the core, and disgusting. So, no, she's fine. She's actually a good uh, role model if she's your role model. Um, <laughs> more than any accomplishments or anything, I want to find someone who's a genuinely good person. And if we're looking at celebrities and just people you see on TV every day, there's not too many of them. Or they're hiding, I don't know, either one. <laughs> Uh, I would say like, uh, who's good? Like I like Ellen. Mm, Who else I love Ellen. Like? Yeah, Ellen's pretty cool. I love Ellen. There's probably Ellen's others, cool. but we can't think of any. Yeah, also with me, like I think their main thing you want to look at is not somebody like, oh, he made this company, he did this, like, oh, he's my role model. Like that could be like a career goal person or something, but role model is somebody you want to like aspire to become so first and foremost you want that to be like a good person a lot of people ask about how you deal with stress um a lot of times i like to listen to music if i'm ever feeling overwhelmed so i just put on some earphones lay down in my bed get some nice music going get up and you're recharged like you don't even need to take a nap like sometimes i sleep with music you don't even need to take a nap you just sit down lay down for like 15 minutes put on some music and it's really a good de-stressing tool. Um, do you do that or what do you do? I mean, you know I know, you? Mainly I think I just do things that I like. Like I have a lot of like hobbies. No. No, but I Seriously? mean like, <laughs> I have like a lot of hobbies. So like you, you might be, your de-stressing might be to like stop everything you're doing and just zone out. Mine is to yeah, like- but I also, of, Yeah, I also like video games and stuff. That's an activity to okay. de-stress. Like what do you do though? Mine is like, makeup pretty much but like if i'm doing like videos and stuff that's kind of stressful so you're in the middle of a hard exam finals week and you're pulling out your makeup kit mm, kind of i think I'm she's just, just a TV. high stress like junkie like she's filming all day she's studying all day she's running around all day for all these like commitments yeah. activities she's actually she takes on way more stress than me i keep it simple clean yeah he's efficient. a very chill stress-free guy in general, and I think that might also be because he like how to de-stress himself and take on a good. I know the techniques. Yeah, I take on a lot more than I can handle, so I'll like cry. Like, <laughs> I'll, just, like, I'll like cry probably every like three weeks or so, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of you guys on my channel think that I just like, how do I handle it? But he can vouch for me now that he has a channel. I'm pretty high stress. Yeah, I usually de-stress her. If you want the truth, I'm the de-stress. Yeah. She's crying. That's true. I come in, you're overreacting. <laughs> I do talk to him about like pretty much a majority of my problems. He's the person in the family I go to. My other um, family members are cool too, but he's definitely, if you guys can't tell, like very chill. Yeah, even Stop. if he disagrees, he'll like listen and just like calmly tell you. And then even if you think like at the end, if he gives you advice and you like disagree with it, later you, later you'll like reflect and like realize he's right. The last question is by Shukti Shivorika. Do you think it's possible to get straight A's despite working full time? I am in my third year of college and my major is biochem and I also have to work full time to pay for school. I'm struggling a lot these days with doing well and working 40 hours. Yeah, so I don't think a lot of like older people understand the struggle that us people in college, high school, like things are really competitive now. There's so many extra curricula you have to do, so many volunteer activities, work, and then focusing on school because everything's like cutthroat. So I totally see where you're coming from. The pre-med path is pretty crazy and working full-time is definitely a huge commitment. I would say it's still possible, but you're gonna have to be really motivated. There's also like shortcuts you can do. Like when I was working like at a gift shop, I basically just did my homework. Yeah. I think the best, actually the way, the best way to probably answer that is no, you can't actually get straight A's and work that workload if you don't find loopholes. Exactly, yep. Yeah. So the people who say it's impossible, it is if you don't find loopholes. So like you like that's a great loophole that I think I've even used, like I've done homework on the job and it's obviously not like putting your job as like second priority. It's just like if there's nobody in your retail store at the time that you can help or something. Yeah, don't follow the stupid rules. You don't get fired, but like <laughs> but like if you maybe even can like get an audiobook version of something you wanna read and just play it at your counter, some like little loopholes like that or um like Or like even like on a commute if you're working or mm -hmm. like you have to take a bus somewhere you can do your work there yeah also like when I'm really in a time crunch like showers brushing everything super fast my school and my apartment are like pretty close together I will actually make a mad dash home literally sprint to save on time it becomes a lot harder for kids who have to like pay entirely by themselves and work 40 hours a week but um, it's possible it's just very hard and it's very high stress but it's not impossible I hope you enjoyed this video, um, hope you enjoyed the input from the uh, truth teller and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!